Yes, it is Groundhog Day. And we welcome you to this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Mark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Harlan. A contest in the West. We'll see if the Los Angeles Clippers can deliver the goods here at home. They went to Los Angeles for their last meeting with the Lakers and came out with a victory. That win, of course, breaking the tie in this season series. They lead two games to one. And they did just what you have to do as a road team. Guys, they never allowed any momentum to build up against them. Seemed like every time they took a punch, they had a counter. You'll like this, Steve. Reverse spurtability, we call that. <laughs> they had any defensive lapses, they immediately made up for it with some instant offense. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Randall and Hill are the four and five. Brian is out there with Mr. Fundamentals, and it's Aminu in at the three spot. Now here's Paul. Following the miss by Julius Randle, they swipe it. Here's Mr. Fundamentals, defended by Paul. For the Los Angeles Clippers, they come in off a good outing against Indiana. They looked very stable, pretty much from the get-go, guys. A solid output, solid effort. And, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see some inconsistencies come up in a road game, but uh, they were pretty solid there. I was very impressed with the balance they displayed, guys. Different people carrying the load, scoring, making assists, unselfish play. Everything was working for them to get that victory. Puts it up off the inbound, and it's good on the way up. Paul's got his first points of the game. Well, some weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. And the shot is good. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. No, that takes skill and creativity, Steve, uh, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. Here's Marion. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with head coach of the Clippers for just a moment. Obviously, he has a lot on his plate when it comes to defending against Kobe Bryant. I asked him what he might do, and he said, not much. He's one of the league's all-time best scorers. And no matter what you seem to do, he finds ways to get on the scoreboard. Kobe might be seeing a lot of double teams here tonight, guys. Always great to hear from you, Doris. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And the other thing they're doing is forcing a lot of turnovers, and that's helping them to get easy points at the other end. For Los Angeles, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. Marion outside. At the elbow, Griffin. Left side, Griffin will not go. This is off the front iron. And again, it will drop another make there from Mr. Fundamentals. Mr. Fundamentals got seven points in the game. Here's Los Angeles now. They trail by one. Into Jordan. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And let's go down to a list of players you can't leave open under any circumstances. This season's most accurate small forwards from the field. Number five is Sean Marion. And that tells you about those players' ability to slash through the defense and get to the hoop effectively because you have to be getting a lot of layups to have that kind of shooting percentage. But you also have to have an excellent outside shot, and all of them do it. Small forwards, you have to be reliable from the perimeter as well. Now here's Paul after the miss from Mr. Fundamentals. Here's Crawford. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. For the three, lock at six. Jordan, the pass to Crawford. Picked by Griffin. Second chance shot. Crawford's shot is good. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that.
And this will be his second and third shots of the line here. And you know, last game, guys, he shot very well from the strike. Made a nice contribution there. Yeah, he sure did. Turned in a really nice performance. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The defense keeps coming up short, just no solution. Fundamentals. He's already got nine points in the steal. He's simply taking over this game. Seems like he's doing it all by himself. Griffin sets the screen for Crawford. And Hill with the block. Here's Mr. Fundamentals, defended by Paul. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Lakers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Well, you look at the number 79% as a team on the season. That's uh, that's very impressive. Really, guys, it's just come together for them at the charity stripe this season. I mean, the confidence is there, and so too are the results. That free throw good from Aminu. Two free throws for Aminu. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Crawford outside. Kicks to Marion. Out of bounds. Clippers ball. The Clippers keep possession. That was an awfully risky pass, guys. Lucky it didn't wind up as a steal. Well, it nearly did wind up as a steal, but no harm done in the end. They hang on to possession. There's the lob to the hoop, and Griffin slams it in. Boy, the prettiest play in basketball to me. Execute it to perfect. I don't think you're going to get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Well, unless you're the team getting dunked on, of course. Uh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a, a good example for the rest of his teammates. Clippers trail by three. Paul with the ball. And he also played a big role in their last game with Indiana. Tipped away. And it's the Lakers on the break. And here we go. It's hauled in by Jamal Crawford. I like his tenacity getting to the basket there, even though the dunk rattled out. 99 times out of 100, you'll get the dunk or the foul. Now here's Marion. 11 points for him in that last game against Indiana. And with three steals, he also showed some grit and toughness at the defensive end. Lakers have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Mr. Fundamentals passes to Aminu. Off target with his three. The Clippers have gone six of nine, shooting it well. It's Marion with the drive. Jordan kicks to Marion. Pass to Paul. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Unloads from 13. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Paul with the steal. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Clippers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. At the line for two. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. You know, he's as close to a sure thing as you can possibly have when he steps to the line. Mr. Fundamentals passes to Bryant. Marion with the double team. It's deflected and stolen by Jordan. Ball outside. Marion with it. Out of ended by Randall. Marion outside. Here's Jordan. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. The Clippers shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. And you look at the numbers for this season, guys, from the free throw line. They're shooting 77%. Ed Davis has checked in for Hill.
He doesn't get the second one. Last game for the Lakers, they picked up the W against the Suns. And I thought, guys, they were the beneficiary of what was a, some lackluster defense being played against them. I agree with you. I mean, it was really shocking how many free runs to the hoop they got. Guys, listen up. We can't afford to crash the offensive glass here. On the release of the shot, we need everybody to get their butts back. No easy baskets. Everyone's sprinting back in transition. The Clippers trail. Now here's Paul, averaging 20 points per game. Crawford outside, fires for three, and the Clippers miss again. Really good performance so far on the boards for this club. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. It's tipped, it's stolen by Randall. All alone, rips down the breakaway slam. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. The pass to Mr. Fundamentals. And he gets it to go. Clark, the coach, was really passionate in that last title, trying to do everything he can to get his message across. You know, and I'm not sure what he wanted exactly, but he did it with enough fire that I'm guessing he's not going to be happy with any lapse in execution. I mean, he made his point pretty clear. Crawford, no one around him. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got four assists in the game. You know, he seemed a bit cold. The shots haven't been falling for him early on. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Here's Randall. No good. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. And here is Paul. Marion outside. On the wing, Jamal Crawford. Five on the clock. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Crawford's got it all tied up now for Los Angeles. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Mr. Fundamentals passes to Davis. He can always depend on him to put the pass right on the money. The Clippers have gotten eight of their 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. It's Crawford with the drive. Jordan dishes to Griffin. Crawford, no one around him. And it's off the back rim, no good. And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision, just poor execution. Boy, you gotta love it. A picture perfect alley -oop. A little surprise, though, Clark. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. You know what? Too. Yeah, but it almost makes it a little more special, Kevin. Just grace over power is the way I see it. And here is Los Angeles now. Four point game. So for the Clippers, Hawes comes in for DeAndre Jordan. And it's Luis Scola in for Blake Griffin. And then for the Lakers, Ryan Kelly, he's checked in for Randall. Young, Kaminu, and it's Jeremy Lin in for Kobe. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, Doc Rivers was just addressing the plan with his team. He clearly thinks they have a speed advantage because he told his players that the objective every time they get the ball is to get out and run. He wants to see plenty of transition. He also wants them using a fundamental offensive approach. Specifically, he'd like to see them running the pick and roll as often as they can. So still 